In this video, I will show you how to build a string by using concatenation and then how to display the string that you just built in a message box. So let's, I've already built this form, so I'm just going to go straight to the display button. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to create a string called str. And I'm going to initialize it with a string that says you missed the following questions. I'm going to do something here. I'm going to use an escape character backslash n. What that does is it creates a new line. Now when you use backslash n, make sure that it's it's in between the quotations. And then the semicolon. Now I'm going to add to this string by using the plus equal operator. I'm going to do this in a for loop. So let's pretend that the student missed questions 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So I'm going to create a for loop. So for i equal, excuse me, so for i equal, I'm sorry, int i, now we're doing i equals 0, while i is less than 20. I'm going to say i plus plus equal 2. So that's going to take every other number. So here's the body of my for loop. So I'm going to uh, str plus equal. I'm going to add to the string, to this string called str. I'm going to add more to this string that says you missed the following questions. So I'm going to, uh, let's see, okay, I'm going to put i dot to string, i dot to string, and then plus quotation and comma and space. So quotation, comma, and space. So it's going to add at the end there. And then semicolon. So this is going to look a little bad, but it shows the principle here about concatenating. So then after the loop, I am going to display the string that I've created in this. I'm going to show this in a message box. So message box dot show and, all I, and since str is a string I'll just put str because show expects you to submit a string so and since str is a string that's good enough. So when I run this program and click the button it's going to say you missed the following questions and it's going to say you missed 0, uh, zero 2, 4, 6, and the so forth. So I'm going to click the Start button, click Display, and see you missed the following questions. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And I put a comma there because of the way I wrote the code, but there's ways you can improve on that. So this is how you can create a string and add to it and after you built your string then you can display it.